Welcome to the webcast in our q series. Out of our modules we offer to you in our Baptic Q world, we will see the CADA module, go right into the incoming good inspection. After this, we will take a look in the complaint management and action management. And last but not least, we will see the supplier ratings. But today, we will focus on the drawing implementation and the drawing integration. Well, Daniel, how do we start now? Open a module with our open module tab, typing in drawing, and we can jump directly into our new drawing module. Mm -hmm. A note for the Bubtech pros, uh, this is a complete new module developed by Bubtech and it comes with all the same advantages as the other modules, so that means using the same licenses, um, no dedicated software installation because it's completely installed with all other modules and completely full integrated into all the other Bubtech suite. Okay, so it's not a separated software now, it's fully integrated, right? Yes, correctly. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's start to, to add a new drawing, yeah? Yes, of course. So I, I might use my new functionality here. And now Bubtec jumps into the classical Bubtec Q dialog. Now, as you can see, I have a drawing folder number and several other fields I can fill in here. So I will create a new drawing 002. Uh, and for example, let's add some information for the part. But as I can see here, it's, it's a list of material, a list of parts. Where does the information result from? So usually the part information comes from your ERP system. And uh, a system integration to your ERP system is a standard milestone within a Bubtech project. Uh -huh. So we, we establish at almost 90% of our customers a system integration to their existing business systems. Okay, that's fine. Yeah? So, so you have to maintain the data only in the ERP system. So if you add a new article or, or modify an article, it's the same in Babtech, yeah? Yes, correctly. Ah, that sounds great. So I will take the gear now and uh, carry over the drawing information here. That's everything we have to do here. Huh? I have only one mandatory field here. Now, where does the magic happen now inside the drawing mo module? So the real magic happens inside the drawing dimensions. So here the tab is for importing drawings. And in this case, for importing DXF and DWG files, which is a standard export format for every um, common CAD tool. Mm -hmm. So I've opened the, the, the file now, and now it leads into an interactive module here, right? I can see the drawing now. Mm -hmm. Correct. This is a 2D CAD drawing. Uh, we see here a beautiful camshaft. I zoomed in a little bit, and now I take one of the information here, and, and the most important information here is the drawing information itself. And as you can see, if I move the mouse over this drawing information, it gets recognized. Yeah? When I click on this 50 with this tolerances, the drawing information receives a balloon here. We see balloon 100. And the information about the stamp number, the length, the dimensional text, nominal value and upper and lower torrential will be carried over from the drawing directory in the table below here. Huh? When I take drawing information without any tolerances, you can see the system switches automatically to the tolerance table. We deliver to you a bunch of tolerance tables you can use out of the box. Now let's take this again here, the third one, Next stamp number, next upper and lower tolerances. So what about this? This seems to be a special characteristic. Yeah. It has a frame around the value. Yeah. So that means it is an inspection characteristic. Mm -hmm. And the creator of the drawing um, marked it specially. And Bubtech also recognized it completely automatically and recognized that this is a special inspection characteristic and sets up a new stamp. So we pre-selected pre the stamp, which is then in this case it has six corners and is red, so that is it, it is significant for the user. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the information is also used for the table here. You see it's an inspection dimension for the stamp template. And the stamp template leads to the information we need for the inspection planning, for example, or the PPAP process. 
So the information about the special characteristics will be used for the classification of the characteristics later in, in the modules. We will see it later in, in the following webcasts. So if you don't want to stamp it step by step, you can create this rubber band functionality here. Yeah? I use a, a pushed mouse button. And when I release the mouse button, all the drawings here in the drawing will be stamped inside our table here below. If this is still too slow for you, just click the stamp all button. Mm -hmm. And moment, I will select all stamps um, at once. Yeah, that's quite cool. So you, you, you have a very, very fast approach to create this table below here. So at the end, it's your job to take a review of the drawing. Now you have to decide if all the information and all the drawing information is used and has a balloon. And for this, we have implemented a quite smart functionality. You can hide all the existing balloons now. So if I click on this functionality, not only the balloons will be hidden, you can see the connected drawing information is hidden also. And everything is fine and everything is perfect. Wow, this is a very nice and clear view um, on our drawing. So let's see if we really hit it all um, dimensions. Mm -hmm. You mean this drawing information yes. here? Yeah. Yes, correctly. There let's is a take small a closer look here. I zoom in. And as you can see, it embraces. Yeah? And this support drawing information, I configured the system that the support drawing information will receive no ballooning, no stamp. So it's, it's, everything is fine. Do you need more information from the drawing, Daniel? So maybe in the header of the drawing, often there is some useful information um, around, around our product, which is here in the drawing. So maybe the hardness could be a useful information for our inspection planner later on. He can use it as a inspection criteria in his inspection, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a small issue. As you can see here, if I move my mouse over the hardness information, the hardness information is embedded into a table. And so the whole table gets selected. But, but there's a functionality for this. You can explode the elements using this context menu here. And after the explosion of these elements, I can select the single hardness information and place my stamp here as you know it. Huh? I guess I'm fine now. <laughs> so everything is perfect. Um, to, to carry over the information now to the table itself, it's only one click away. Now you click on the adopt functionality and now all the balloonings will read out from the drawing and stored right in the SQL database BubTech. What additionally uh, happens is that our system creates automatically a PDF file of our stamped drawing. Um, it applies all stamped, all balloons in the drawing, including the, in the special criteria we just spoke about, the framed characteristics, which are inspection um, dimensions. And so now you can use this file to share it with your colleagues that do not have a CAD tool or a, a CAD viewer. Okay, that's fine, but I think that's not the whole story, yeah? I think sooner or later you will receive a new version of the drawing from your constructor. So maybe the constructor have moved some elements of the drawing, add some characteristics. What happens then? Uh, in general, this is very tricky because you have to compare two complex drawings and Therefore, we built a functionality that allows you to compare drawings. So you, you have a, a old drawing you're, you're currently using, and then you use a new updated drawing and to compare those drawings. And therefore, we have an assistant that guides you stepwise through the comparing, and it analyzes both drawings and selects stamps that have moved, stamps that maybe have changed their tolerances, or even stamps that disappear, or new stamps that appear on the drawing. And Think about the integration, yeah? This information about the new information or modified information will then be used to update your PPAP documents or your inspection plans. So that's very important for us. If you change something in one BubTech module, this modification will be carried over to the other modules. That's a topic, yeah? First topic today, we saw the 
CAD and drawing information here, the integration of the drawing inside the Bubtech module. And the second webcast will use this information inside the incoming goods inspection to create the inspection plan. Thanks for watching and keep healthy.